Comets have been traveling in the rules as of now. Interstellar's third visitor quietly strolled by Mars. Instead, a mystery was sparked. In 48 hours, its brightness increased sixfold, and an enormous green coma suddenly appeared half the width of the sun fueled not by conventional chemistry but by a stupendous flow of carbon dioxide. Now, as telescopes on Earth lose sight and only orbiters around Mars carry on the chase, there is no comet model that can respond. Science has questions, why is 3 Atlas unleashing the unimaginable close to Mars? What secrets are concealed within this cosmic anomaly? The team of Wanji Kwanji Ye at the Atlas Chile facility started their daily survey of the sky on July 1, 2025, scanning for brand new celestial objects along the equator. That night, automated software flagged one dim, slow-moving point of light that was incompatible with any known asteroid or comet. The information made its way into the alert queue of the Minor Planet Center, eliciting a worldwide call for follow-up. Observatories from South Africa to Hawaii all responded, each taking exposures and returning the coordinates to Cambridge. Once planned, the object's path was rechecked. The calculated orbit revealed an eccentricity much higher than one a distinct indicator that this was not a typical solar system explorer. It came in on a hyperbolic trajectory without ties to the sun and bound never to return. The pace of discovery sped up. Through the following afternoon, pictures showed a thin coma, forming evidence of volatile vaporization of ice and sunlight. The Minor Planet Center assigned a new designation, Atlas III, the third and final interstellar object ever recorded. Teams communicated in real time, their chat logs filled with punctuation marks, haste, and calculations. The YZ group is still working on the implications, recognizing that they are witnessing a rare event like lightning striking three times in the same spot. The need for action was clear. Astronomers valued each hour. Worldwide schedules shifted, telescopes were rearranged, and teams were determined to get every last bit of information before three. Atlas slipped out of reach. The competition to comprehend an alien visitor had begun. Currently, three, Atlas cuts through the solar system's interior at speeds that defy common perception. Its measured velocity is 58 to 68 kilometers per second more than double Mercury's orbital speed and nearly 200,000 times faster than a commercial airliner. If it were destined for the moon, Atlas III would reach it in a little more than an hour a journey that took Apollo astronauts three days. However, speed is only one aspect of the equation. The comet's solid nucleus is still obscured by uncertainty. Anecdotes based on outgassing and brightness suggest a diameter between 0.3 and 5.6 kilometers, with the lower end more likely. Even at that size, its volume is staggering several billion tons, making it significantly heavier than predecessors such as Aumuamua or Borisov. It follows a hyperbolic, straight path from the depths of interstellar space. According to calculations, it will never orbit the sun but will instead pass by and vanish indefinitely. The approach's geometry adds further complexity. Its closest point to the sun will occur on October 29, 2025, at an approximate distance of 1.36 astronomical units. But as it nears the sun, its solar elongation, the angle between the sun and comet as seen from Earth shrinks. Beginning in October, this angle falls below 30, making the comet too close to observe against the sun's glare. This geometry means everything to astronomers. The dwindling window makes observation an orbital and time-based race. Every measurement speed, size, distance translates into urgency. On October 2, 2025, during a routine New South Wales sky survey, a deviation was flagged. A beginner scientist observing the comet's predicted path recorded an abrupt rise in brightness six-fold in less than two days. Before dawn, the comet alert went live in the database. Within hours, photometric data from telescopes in South America, Japan, Chile, and Africa poured in, confirming the impossible. 3-2. Atlas was shining brighter than any model predicted. None had anticipated such a sudden surge. 
The initial suspicion instrument error collapsed as independent measurements stacked up. On October 3rd, the light curve looked less like a comet and more like a detonation. Observatories rushed to adjust. Gemini canceled regular programs, Hubble's Q was rearranged, and even backyard astronomers in Arizona and Romania uploaded raw images to Slack, their timestamps matching the official increase. The Minor Planet Center's alert feed became a torrent. Professionals and amateurs alike felt the energy in the room. The last time anything similar happened was in 2007 with Comet Holmes, but never before with an interstellar visitor. The global network amateurs, experts, and automated bots responded in real time, each observer searching for an event that seemed to rewrite the rules of cosmic behavior as it unfolded. The reason for the outburst did not change elusive. However, the urgency was evident. Now, the target of every telescope was 3i, Atlas, hoping to anticipate its next move. It disappeared into the glare, a green light that could be seen from millions of kilometers away as 3i, Atlas flew by Mars. The slumber swelled to a width of more than 600,000 kilometers twice as wide as the sun, yet its color exceeded all expectations. The usual carbon molecules were not present. The James Webb Space Telescope shone brightly in the darkness and discovered spectral lines largely composed of carbon dioxide. The ratio of water to carbon dioxide, measured at nearly 8 to 1, broke any previous record seen in comets. While telescopes on Earth vanished into silence, blinded by the sun's rays, Mars became the focus of the search for answers. On October 3rd, the comet passed just 30 million miles from the red planet, forcing every orbiter into action. Mars Express, from ESA, used its high-resolution stereo camera and Spicum spectrometer to track the hazy outline of the coma, detecting infrared and ultraviolet gas signatures. The Nomad suite of ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter performed lightning-fast scans, while NASA's MAVEN and China's Chongwen-1 kept an eye on the plasma and surrounding magnetic field. Inside Mission Control, the pace was relentless. Colin Frank Wilson's team at ESA revised observation schedules on the fly, overriding routine Mars activities to keep the comet in view. In one instance, an ExoMars device was programmed with a novel sequence less than an hour before a critical observation window move praised in mission logs as a defining career moment. The majority of images resolved the nucleus, albeit in extended stacks. The vast emerald halo was exposed, spectra confirmed the green glow was not due to the usual sea swan bands. Instead, atomic oxygen was being produced by solar ultraviolet light disintegrating carbon dioxide and water in the coma. For two weeks, as 3i, Atlas slipped behind the sun from Earth's perspective, Mars spacecraft became the only eyes in the world monitoring the event. Every spectrum and dataset became a lifeline for researchers determined to understand what was happening. The transfer from Mars to Earth was complete, and with each new transmission, the comet's green mystery deepened. At the October 2025 meeting of planetary scientists, debate filled the air. Dr. S. Watanabe, speaking on behalf of the Nagoya group, argued that the unusual carbon and oxygen isotope ratios particularly. The remarkable rise in CLC and oxygen isotope deviations could only be explained by formation within an unaltered, dense, ancient molecular cloud, untouched by any star to this point. Rival teams, however, argued that calibration uncertainties, spectral resolution limits from James Webb, and data from Mars orbiters and telescopes could account for the anomalies. Others suggested solar power effects, cosmic radiation, or ultraviolet processing may have altered the ratios. The arguments spilled into late-night slack threads, error analyzes, and counter -preprints. The stakes were more than academic. 
The comet's story might change how astronomers interpret the chemistry of worlds beyond our solar system and force new priorities in planetary defense. The grim reality was that 3i Atlas, with a mass measured in billions of tons and a top speed of 68 kilometers per second, sailed past Mars far beyond the reach of any current. Quick probe concepts were drafted within NASA and ESA but ultimately shelved. Even advanced Mars-based launchers or ion drives could not catch it in time. Security briefings quietly concluded the same. 3i Atlas posed no danger to Mars or Earth. Its outbound trajectory was fixed by physics. Private sector mining groups analyzed the data for resource potential, but practical access remained science fiction. The incident forced policymakers to rethink readiness not only for the unknown, but for the truly unreachable. Within 48 hours, 3i Atlas brightness increased sixfold, verified by both amateur and professional astronomers. Its coma measured over 600,000 kilometers across, glowing with unprecedented carbon dioxide concentration. Mars Express and other orbiters, along with ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, captured crucial data while Earth-based telescopes remained blinded by the Sun. Despite coordination across Hubble, James Webb, and Mars-based assets, key questions remained. The cause of 3i Atlas Extreme Outburst, the source of its unusual isotope ratios, and how such a massive interstellar comet survived its journey. Estimates suggested its mass exceeded thousands of tons. Plans for a probe mission were shelved due to technical and time constraints. Today, 3i Atlas stands as both a scientific milestone and an unsolved mystery. It has forced astronomers to reevaluate what is possible from interstellar visitors. As long as the data continues to be analyzed, one thing is clear. 3i Atlas has altered the rules of interstellar exploration.